The night sky is a critical component that in a place like Los Angeles has been lost. And so people don't even bother to look. Before we had all of these things that came to us, people had to look at the sky and the boundary between the sky and the horizon to try and figure out what was happening in the world. Modern society doesn't require any of that, and so people have lost the habit of looking up. When we were founded back in 1935, the lights weren't nearly as much of a problem as they are now. We were quite far out of town and, you know, up on a hillside. But today, we're surrounded. We're in the middle of Los Angeles. And while we're in this enormous, beautiful park, Griffith Park, nonetheless, we suffer under the canopy of lights. And they definitely dim our view. When I started here, you could drive an hour and see the sky almost as well as you can currently from Joshua Tree. In other words, you could see the Milky Way and the zodiacal light and meteors in Los Angeles was a distant glow on the horizon. But now those same areas that you could drive to in an hour are terribly light polluted and you can barely see the Milky Way anymore. Joshua Tree is actually the closest place now to us, a three hour drive from here where you can see a decent sky. Pollution is absolutely a serious loss for people. Um, not only does it cause sleep troubles for a lot of people um, without having a clear night and day uh, from some of our brightest cities, uh, folks in, in their, their natural rhythms have been interrupted. Uh, the knowledge of what the moon is doing and the background planets uh, that are there with it, all of that can form a very deep fabric for culture. Um, a lot of uh, native cultures have stories that are woven around there. Um, Greek mythology is written around these. So for people to understand uh, human history and, and our mythology, it helps to be able to see the real sky. Now, we can have planetariums that provides one view, but there's more power to going out into nature and experiencing it for yourself, I believe. When we see a dark sky and it's full of stars, uh, that gives you an innate feeling of infinity more so than anything else. You know, it looks sparkly, you can tell it's made out of a lot of countless things. Uh, just the numerance of it uh, really gets to you, and it's just fascinating. It doesn't mean you like astronomy or not, it, it, it's just your basic reaction to, to nature. Without being able to see this with your own eyes, it's almost pulling a veil, a cloak, you know, hiding part of reality. So when we turn on all our lights and, and make the skies unobservable, humanity's losing part of our vision. It's actually shutting down our window to the night sky. And I think that window is important to both, like I said, for imagination and dreams and thoughts, but also to inspire people. Um, the night sky is a very inspiring sight.